So in today's video, I wanted to talk about Koichi, which for those of you who don't know, is the main protagonist in the My Hero Academia spin-off series, Vigilantes. The main thing I wanted to discuss about him is the abuse that he went through as a child from his mother that made him really limited himself and made him the person that he is today. And don't worry, this isn't Endeavor levels of abuse. So before I continue with the video, be sure to Detroit smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy My Hero Academia and would like to see more My Hero Academia content in the future. With that being said, let's continue with the video. Like I said earlier, Koichi's mom abused him, not to the extent of Endeavor obviously, but she had put a real psychological effect on him to where he unconsciously limited his quirk, which led him to limit his own potential. In chapter 16, when she is introduced, in the chapter she talks about Koichi and his childhood, basically calling him unreliable and saying that his dreams of being a hero back then was pointless. And she says this in front of everybody in Koichi's apartment. And everyone who was in the apartment were Knuckle Duster, Pop, and Makoto. Now, it's really not a big deal to Koichi because he doesn't seem to care at all about the way he is being talked about. He was more worried about Knuckle Duster and trying to make his life seem normal to his mother. The one person that didn't like what she was saying was Pop, who was gonna stand up for Koichi until his mom scared her off. Now, that's really the end of the chapter, but can I just say, this dude was getting slapped up by his mom in this chapter because her quirk is fly swatter and she can basically smack anything from a distance like it like this is the ultimate mother quirk because i know if my mom could have a quirk it would be this one now back to the topic at hand you could say that in the chapter it wasn't really a big deal that all she was doing was talking crap about her son but she didn't seem like she was just joking because there is a panel where she seems to have something against heroes. Where she says to Makoto, you know how it goes with heroes. They let themselves get used until their own lives fall apart. Now to me this really seems kind of personal. And to speculate real fast, maybe Koichi's grandfather was a hero and she saw how that life can affect somebody. And that is the main reason why she treats Koichi the way she does when it comes to the hero stuff, of course. But of course, that's just speculation because we don't know anything about his grandparents except a little bit about Koichi's dad, who also seems to know how his mom is because he was the one that warned and apologized for his mom coming to visit. Now, a lot of chapter 16 were just signs, but in chapter 17, we really get to see how she treated him as a baby. In chapter 17, we see a panel where she talks about Koichi being able to float as a baby. And this is kind of big news because up until that point, all you knew about Koichi's quirk was that he was just able to glide on the floor on all fours. And his quirk was just shown to be more capable than just that in that panel. So in the next panel, as baby Koichi is floating, she is just straight smacking him from floating. Now of course there was good reason to smack him from floating because in that panel he was heading toward a speeding car. But then she says that she would smack him in hopes to stop him from floating. Now that's pretty bad because she basically kept hitting him so he could not use his quirk so it could be a little bit easier for her. Now there's one more panel in chapter 38 that shows a little bit more of the way he was treated as a child. So in this panel, Koichi is talking to Pop about how he could activate his slide and glide quirk with only one part of his body. And throughout the series, we see that he could only use it while he was on all fours. So then he talks about remembering that as a kid, he would try to glide while standing, but he would just fall over all the time. And in that panel, his mother is yelling at him from the window. It was like every time he tried to do something, he would always get yelled at or smacked when it came to his quirk. And that's why he forgot all of these abilities is because he's been hit so many times yelled at that he subconsciously hid those abilities away deep down inside of him, putting a huge limitation on his quirk. 
Now I get that when he was a baby, his mom was really just being protective and trying to make sure that Koichi was safe, but in the end she really did more harm than she did good. So I think Koichi's mom really did impact his life heavily with the way she treated him as a child. This is most likely why he was extremely passive at the start of the series and doesn't make major decisions or actions because he was basically trained not to do that. And she put these psychological handicaps on him, especially when it came to his quirk. Because without those limitations that were already set inside of his head, he could have been pro already. Trust me, it is funny to see the man in the manga always get hit by the woman. It's a classic manga trope, but when it comes to this, it's really different from that. It's funny, but when you think about it, it shows something a little deeper when it comes to Koichi's character. That's really all I have to say when it came to this topic. Obviously, you shouldn't hit children in real life because as we have seen in the series, it doesn't really work out. I'm looking at you, Endeavor. But tell me what do you guys think of the video and if I open your eyes a little bit to when it comes to Koichi's character or do you not care at all? Let me know your opinions in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.